Exotic plants are our friends that have spruced up our studio with their vibrant flowers and plants that you're seeing. We've brought them in today to help you revive your very own living space, too. With me is owner Kihumi Kepler. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, I know that since I've been here, I've always been noticing the beautiful plants that are on set. And look at this display you have here today. This is pretty amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So it's now, you know, we're transitioning into fall. I mean, we're mm -hmm. getting some rain. It's still kind of hot. But what kind of plants uh, thrive in fall weather? Well, everything works well, works out great mm -hmm. in in the fall or any season. However, uh, you have to change the watering system when the weather changes. When it slows down, like when it cools down, then you have to cut down the way, uh, watering. You know, because it doesn't need as much. Right, you have to make an adjustment. Right. And as I was mentioning, you have this beautiful display up here. So tell me about some of the plants that you brought in today. Sure. I brought some of the fall color, you know, like yellow and um, orchid. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot one of the orange one, you know, okay. Halloween <laughs> one, but pumpkin color. That's an anthurium. And this is tricolor croton. It stays this color I all the time. I love those colors. So yeah. pretty. And it changes, comes out green and yellow and turns orange. And this is another orchid, Oncidium. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, I'm seeing the succulents there. Succulents are becoming more and more popular, I feel oh like. Oh my God. Right? I just finished one uh, big uh, Koreana international market. Uh -huh. We did about 12 planters, huge. In the all succulents. Lot. Succulent and then rocks. Wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I've got to get on that one because, you know, I need low maintenance. <laughs> Good, right. <laughs> what okay. do we have on this side? This is low maintenance. It's an air plant on a twig, and these are just loose. Oh, my goodness. That's and why they're called can, air plants. Right. Huh? <laughs> and you just uh, dip in water once every week to 10 days, and then that's it. And I'm sure if we come see you at Exotic Plants, you can help us achieve some of these beautiful looks. Of course. We'll help now, you. Yeah, and you guys are celebrating a very special occasion. Why don't you tell me about that? Yes, it's 47th anniversary. 47, 47 years. 47. Wow. I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> it's 47 years of beautiful plants. And um, we're going to have workshops, uh, Ikebana, which is floral, Japanese floral arrangement, and Kokedama, which is... Koke means moss and dama means ball. Okay. And how to do it. And uh, we'll have auction, food, uh, silent and live auction. Right. So it's a, a very fun event to celebrate yes. 47 years of and beautiful then, plants. Now, and a big what, discount. And a big discount. <laughs> oh, well, then there's definitely a reason to go. That's happening Saturday, September 28th. Right. Going back to caring for plants, because I know you mentioned in the fall, you have to kind of alter the watering schedule. Mm -hmm. What is it about the cool weather that you really need to be careful about if you want your plants to survive and still continue to thrive? Okay, the weather changes, the sun moves around, so it tends to get uh, darker, mm -hmm. so provide more light or open the you know curtain a little more. Right. Um, when the weather temperature goes down, just make sure it's not right by the heater, uh, or temperature drop at night, you just have to be careful. What What do you find is like the biggest mistake people make? Or where are people coming to? They're like, hey, my plant diet is not doing well. What is it that people tend to do wrong most of the time? Uh, most of the time, people walk over water or totally underwater. You know, just don't water for three, four weeks and then think they survive. Right. And that's not right. So, so these, are, these are living plants. You have to take care of them every yeah. day and make sure that you're you're doing the right thing every right. day. <laughs> not every day, but at least weekly. You okay. know, make sure it's great. moist. And yeah. Moist. So um, again, you guys are celebrating 47 years. Did you mm -hmm. just move to a new location? Yes. On 1525 Fulton. And it's a new building. Mm -hmm. And we own the place. And it's beautiful. People say, you know, this is so gorgeous, and you know, white and black, and you know, just more modern. So, when people come in, what can they expect to find? Uh, anything unusual they are looking for, like trendy plants, um, everything. So, they can find a little bit of everything. Obviously, okay, exotic. This one <laughs> is like a mounting staghorn fern. This staghorn fern is rare, it's called Grande, mm -hmm. and it the sh new shield comes out right here and then covers up the new one, and this turns brown eventually, 
and the new one comes out and gets wow. bigger and so bigger. are these types of um, arrangements getting pretty popular? Yes. Very yes. popular. And we have a workshop for that too. Okay, so yeah. if you don't know how, she is going to teach you. All you have to do is look them up at Exotic Plants. Right. Uh, where can people go to get more information about, you know, your anniversary celebration or if they right. want to sign up for a class? Yeah, you can check face Facebook or Instagram and as well as uh, our website. Okay. Yeah. Exotic so Plants Limited. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.